Hi everyone! In this video, we are going to be continuing on linear inequalities. Now, if you watched the previous video, you were given a linear inequality and had to construct the graph. In this video, you'll be given the graph and we'll have to figure out what the inequality is. So taking this first example, we have a few things that we should identify. The slope, the y-intercept, the type of line, and the inequality sign. From that, we'll be able to find our linear inequality. So let's get started. In this first example, looking for the slope, we're going to go down 3 over 1, down 3 over 1, down 3 over 1. So our slope is going to be negative 3. Our y-intercept we can find just looking at the y-axis and our line intersects the y-axis at 3, so our y-intercept is 3. Already from this information, we can start writing, writing our inequality. We definitely know y. Now we don't know which sign we're using yet, so we'll just leave that blank for now. y something negative 3x plus 3. Our next step is to identify the type of line. Looking at the line, it is solid. So right from the get-go, we can eliminate the greater than and less than sign, because solid lines are either greater than or equal to, or less than or equal to. Now just like in our previous video, we can use the point 0, 0 as a test point. So taking what we already have of our inequality, we can actually plug that point 0, 0 in. Now if you notice, 0, 0 is not a solution to our inequality because it's not part of the shaded region. Therefore, we're looking for a false statement because 0, 0 is not included. Let's try it. Okay, so we're plugging in 0 for y and 0 for x. So we have 0 blank, negative 3 times 0, plus 3. 0 blank, negative 3 times 0, 0, 3. Now again, 0, 0 is not a solution. Therefore, we want a false statement between the greater than and or equal to, or less than or equal to, we're going to use greater than or equal to, because this is a false statement, and we don't want 0, 0 to work because it's not shaded. Therefore, we're using greater than or equal to, and we're done. Try this example on your own, and pause the video. Then come back to check your work. Okay, we're going to do the same thing here that we did in the previous video, the previous example. We're looking at the slope, y-intercept, type of line, and inequality sign. Our slope, let's take a look. We're going down one, over one, down one, over one, down one, over one. Our slope is negative one. And this graph intersects the y-axis at 4, so our y-intercept is 4. Now we go ahead and write out what we know. y blank, because we don't know the sign yet, negative x, or you could write negative 1x if that helps you, plus 4. Next step, solid or dotted line. This line is solid again. Therefore, again, we can eliminate these two choices of inequality signs. Now we can go for it and test our 0, 0. But take a look. This time, 0, 0 is a solution. So we're going to pick the sign that makes the statement true because 0, 0 is included. Okay, so we have 0, blank, negative 0, 
plus four, zero, blank, four, and we're going to make this true. Zero is less than or equal to four, because we want zero, zero to work as a solution. Therefore, our sign, less than or equal to, and we have our inequality, y is less than or equal to negative x plus four. And we have our answer. Good job.